well, Vito, thanks so much for sitting down with us. Um, we know, sadly, that your time at Liverpool Football Club is coming to an end. So is a lot of the backroom staff. Um, and Jürgen gets a lot of credit for that. But if it weren't for you and the backroom staff like you, uh, the success that he's had at Liverpool wouldn't have been possible. So thanks so much for that. Um, to start off with, I'll start with the end. H how are you feeling um, knowing that this chapter of your life is coming to a close on Sunday? Um yeah overwhelming in terms of emotions it's a lot of emotion you know it's a it's an emotional time for all of us um so we were always waiting for this day to come and trying to put yourself together in a good place as well that uh, is a lot to come in the future so we will, we are all excited with that in the end as well but it's really emotional and i so my daughter born in liverpool Scouser. She's a scouser. Uh, my son grew up, so he came with less than one year old year, so and then he grows in here, so scouser, a scouser as well. Really proud of that. Um, so I'm really connected with the city, so I love all the years I spend in here. Um, so yeah, it will be quite hard, but at the same time, um, yeah, quite happy that uh, we can leave the club in. Uh, good situation and in a good place in terms for the future and in my role that a lot of talents are coming and you see that still a lot to come and that's good so yeah yeah for sure you've left us in a much better place but when you joined in 2019 how did the opportunity come about i think you'll probably mention pep lines is here but how did it come about working for liverpool and, and what was the pressure like um so first was uh, so I came here and I can I can tell the story. So I came here on the same day uh, that was the game against Barcelona. So I came here in the morning, spoke with Pep, spoke with the Gaffa. And that's when I came here the first time to have a chat with both. Um, so there's nothing decided there at the time, just to get to know them and uh, the Gaffa especially. Um, and then that's the little bit how the start came. Uh, then was just a need that both Pep and Gaffa felt it in terms of uh, they wanted someone to do this role and at the same time help them in terms of training and uh, game planning. And that's how the opportunity ar uh, arise. And um, yeah, when luck, luck and opportunity came together, we have these kind of things. And I was just a, a really lucky guy to have this opportunity which i'm really grateful um, and honored as well uh, and on that time i was just uh, yeah i was just thrilled to come because uh, yeah it's unbelievable it's an unbelievable club and um, it's the place you want to be and the place that i wanted to be and that that was nice yeah you mentioned your role there you obviously took the role of pep yeah. and as uh, i do much better than you uh, just to say <laughs> fair play <laughs> we can't argue with that yeah, the proof is there <laughs> sorry pep um but you did you did come in and actually pep had some really lovely words about you yeah. uh, he called you you know the connector between the academy and the first team which we we have seen and um, but he also said that you were their best signing of the season uh, i don't know that you say, but but the proof now kind of does show that, doesn't it? How how yeah. did it feel to you know have someone familiar there because you already obviously knew Pep? Did it help you settle in a bit more? Yeah, of course, uh, it was the main reason to come, and as well, the person uh, so um, more than a friend is uh, someone that uh, was and is there always for me, and that I cannot be more happy and grateful to have his friendship as well and of course he was the the pillar of my arriving in here and he helped me through everything in terms of um, of pitch and in terms of personal things and at the same time uh, how to settle in the club understand a little bit the context understand a little bit the role expectations as well regarding uh, first team and academy um, and he says incredible person and an incredible coach as well so of course all the advices are precious so yeah it was really important and he is really important for me no doubt about it
Yeah, for sure. And you will continue to be important yeah. together for each other in your next death. Um, but what I do have to mention is the AXA. Obviously, before the AXA, the academy yeah. and um, the yeah. first team weren't together. So it was quite a barrier to get those players in the academy up into the first team. How important is the AXA being to have everyone mm. in the same facility? Yeah, very important. But um, that kind of works. There was a kind of a system that we just needed different timeline to make some decisions. So it worked. Um, but I think the most important thing is in terms of information. So uh, how can information goes much more faster and much more fluid between the first team and the second team and in the end the academy? Um, because um, the manager can go quicker to the academy, quicker to the under 21's uh, office, speak there. We go as well, so it's a shared place. They come to the, to the first team side, so it's much more easier to have coaches from the academy in here, have Alex most, most of the times in here as well. So this relationship grows quicker and grows easier. Uh, and that comes then with the talents and with the players because it's a kind of... Um, uh, you put it in a way that they all want to be on that building and they all want to be in here. So it's a kind of... Uh, inspiration if you want to say so i think was uh yeah it's, it's brilliant how it is um helps a lot in all these kind of uh, details um and yeah i think it's quite quite good so far yeah you mentioned obviously you were the development coach of them but do you think also you had a kind of a development on who they were as as people as well is it very important in this football club that it's not just about ability yeah. it's also about who they are and how humble they are and um, you kind of know that this is a journey to reach the top yeah um, the most important thing and, and is not just me so is me is the coach of the under 21s Barry is the coach of the under 18s Mark is all the coaches in the academy is how Alex uh, sees the development of the human being by itself and is the manager how he wants and how he creates this culture of in the in the club as well. So all this work together um, creates values and makes the players try to go on that direction. And that's the most important things for that. So in terms of character development, in terms of... Uh, of um, identity of the player on the pitch and off the pitch that um, helps and makes that direction um, and then we try in a way that the player or the young player knows that he needs to come to the first team by his football and by his um, ability to play on the pitch and that's the most important thing that they all, all know that uh, that's what matters not about how they come to the club or what they dress or what they wear or what they put on social media is nothing relating with that. It's just about football. And that's what we try and that's our way to try to do things. And they need to stand out by that. Um, that's the way to do it, I believe. And you must be extremely proud because as a fan, seeing it, you know, all the young lads coming through, playing in the first team, how they conduct themselves and not just that, but the sheer ability. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a, a, a crop of players at Liverpool with this kind of ability to, to go on the main stage and do what they've been doing. So how, how proud are you? Are, are ah, very proud. Uh, not not only me, but it's like I'm trying to say, it's, it's the whole club. Yeah. I think in the end, the one of the biggest achievements we had and especially the cafe is that uh, all of us try to create a culture that there is a big place for the academy and a big place for the players that are, are from the city, scousers, and they have a place to come. And that can stay for the future um, because it's part already of the club, it's part of the culture of the club. So. Um, on the moment we have that, is uh, then is we need to take care of it, and to, we need to, with the work of all these people and all the staff behind the scenes, um, try to help these talent players to achieve this. Uh, not that means that they all achieve the first team because it will not be possible, but at least that they can have a career or a professional career, and that they develop themselves as a human beings as well. That's the main goal, I would say. 
Yeah, it, it would be rude of me if I did not mention the League Cup final from this <laughs> season. Um, just in terms of that, it was absolutely an unbelievable story and every trophy that Liverpool win has some sort of incredible story behind it <laughs> and this is right up there. I'm just going to list the, the, the players who did feature in that. You know, we had Conor Bradley, Clark, McConnell, Dans, Quanta, all featuring and all helping Liverpool get over the line to make sure that we delivered another trophy in, in yours, Klopp's, everyone's final season who's leaving. Just how how did it feel in that moment? Was the I don't suppose there was relief because there's you know these players are so young, so it shouldn't feel like they have that level of pressure on them. But yeah, also the excitement yes. uh, and enthusiasm that I think is the best word. We were all excited with what we were seeing on that moment. Um, I think is a lot related with the moment of the team as well and how we are on the, how we were on that moment. Um, and that helped the, the 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 young players on that moment on the pitch, but it's all part of the process and the project. So when when they are training with the first team regularly, when the manager sees the players in here, uh, when Pep sees the players in here, when all of the staff are, is daily with the players, that creates this kind of environment, and that what that's what we let's say you win from them as well, is this excitement and this enthusiasm to just play the game with the first and just play the final life. Like if it was the best thing ever happened and, and it was. Um, so, and this is what you gain with having young players on the on the squad and young players on the on the training sessions and uh, and um, and on the team. So, it's, um, oh, it was unbelievable. It was just unbelievable. Yeah, it was. Uh, being in the stands, it yeah, was brilliant it was... for you. will never walk alone for them to have those <laughs> moments as well. Ah, absolutely. Um, and, and those players did stand up. You know, McConnell and Clark, so yeah. young, having to, to go on there. And, you know, they, they were running rings around Chelsea at times <laughs> as well. So that's great to see. But, you know, that's just one game from the season. On a whole, You yeah. could you have imagined what happened this season? Because you've had Conor Bradley v Chelsea, who absolutely just tore them apart. Yeah, was a play, world-class um, goal. Played against City with um, Quiff, Jarrell, yeah. Connor, Harvey, if you want. So all of them played as well on that game. So and I think, um, yeah, it's like I said, is is the, the the we had the luck of being in the club for an amount of years, and not a lot of coaches have this 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 uh, possibility. And let's say that uh, we we all came together in a way that makes this possible. And that was uh, has been this season really good for them. Yeah, and has it helped that you've got a manager there in your yeah. club who puts faith in you and those uh, young players more, more than me in the in the academy? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, um, that's uh, Gaffer's credit, of course, because he's, he's he's a developer. He loves develop players, and he loves uh, the academy by uh, by itself. So when you have someone like that, is everything much easier? everything much easier you can have uh, the best academy in the world if you don't have a manager who believes in the young players and in the academy forget it so um i think that's the that's major that's major did you quite expect it to have so many young players break out this season or do you think it was just the opportunity was there and they've managed it's, it's to take both it situations all the time yeah so sometimes the circumstances create the opportunity Sometimes the opportunity comes by itself, um, but and I go back again. It's it starts it starts because you create a space in the squad for the academy because you create a process and a project based on the academy as well, and because this inside pathway has fluidity between everyone. So it's a relationship between the academy director Alex me. The relationship between the coaches and first team staff, and when this comes together, that happens quite easily. Um, and then sometimes, because there is injuries, because there's a lot of games, or because something else, when you need it, that will happen for sure. Is it easy to deal with all, all the pressure coming from Liverpool? Because I don't, you know, we've once had a, a lad called Stephen Gerrard who mm. turned out to be a hero and, and one of the best yeah. midfielders in Premier League history in world football. Did you feel that pressure? Have you felt that pressure? Or has the working environment just been incredible due to the people who you've got around yeah, you? Yeah, I will say that. 
um, the environment uh, of and the working environment and the, the the team behind the team helps you individually to go through these moments. And I need to say that um, the way the GAFA ha handles the pressure uh, makes us all much more um, calm and much more focus on the process and that's very important because it's someone that just takes for itself everything in this kind of situation this kind of pressure and doesn't make it through the staff as well so and that's that's a talent i would say that's a big talent yeah and the the academy right now for me uh, being maybe on the younger side it's the best i have ever seen <laughs> it um, and obviously like you mentioned that's yeah. to a lot of people yeah. um the, the credit goes to them but how promising is Liverpool Football Club's future? Because these players that we're seeing on the pitch, you know, week in, week out or every so yeah. often, they look like they could be the future generation of the Yeah, of the... I, I really believe when you put a player playing in the first team, making the debut and then consistently playing, you are creating more 100 possibilities for the other ones because it creates inspiration. All the young players with eight, six see that it's possible, or even older, but they see it's, pos it's possible, starts a dream coming to all of them, and then you start creating a, a massive engine behind. So when you st when this starts, is like, okay, it's really possible. I, I We can all do it in the end. So, and, and, and that's how we create this culture. So I think um, there's a lot of, um, potential there's a lot of talent always in the academy uh, and then it always always come through the moment through the process through the situation of the first team um, so yeah i think the future regarding that could be really bright um, and um yeah i'm outside cheering and waiting for all of them to be honest <laughs> um is there any moment from the season which you particularly think of uh, as the best? I mean, there is a lot of individual performances there. Kuma scores on his debut. Jaden Dans gets yeah. two at the cop end. You've got Connor Bradley who puts in that performance against um, Chelsea, of course. And then Clark also scores against Sparta Prague. There's so many individual moments. Is, is there anything for you that you'll reflect on as the season as the best moment? Um, I thought that there was a lot. <laughs> There was a lot, but I think the, the two ones we've mentioned, the, the, the Carabao Cup final and the City game, because normally we always associate the, the, the good moments with success, you know, with the goal or with winning, or, but there was more than that. Um, I just think that two ones for everyone outside and for the club, they were massive. I think the, the Carabao Cup was massive uh, because of all the context around the game as well. Uh, and I think in the end, the performance we put on that game against City, even if we didn't win the game, but the performance we put at Anfield on that day and starting 11 with that amount of players from the academy, that's a big, big statement. It's a big statement. Do, do you feel, um, especially from the fans, that I, I've never felt this as, as much as recently in no matter what start in 11 we put out there, no matter it's got Jarrell Kwanser in, Kelleher in, Bradley in, no matter who's out on that pitch, our fans back them. And sometimes <laughs> there can be a bit of trepidation. I, you know, I, I remember a couple, there was a long time yeah. ago, we, we beat uh, Everton 1-0 and there was a team of youngsters there and uh, Jürgen, we always used to have this joke that Jürgen loved to, to make a, a team of just random players sometimes against Everton, people who you wouldn't pick out a hat. And there was a little bit of trepidation from fans. Yeah. But now, especially this season, do you feel like the fans just, we, we feel safe in what, the academy is producing. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I can say is that uh, keep that uh, because um, um, the young players they bring so much and so much energy and so much. Uh, um, how I say it? Uh, because it's it's much more pure. The football is just about that, and that's uh, that's a big difference. So. Um, but I always felt that when we have uh, someone from the academy into the first team, that the Anfield just explodes sometimes <laughs> on that moment. It's just like, wow. I remember when Curtis scored against Everton 
at Anfield, that goal from the left okay. side and smashed the ball. Wow, that was a big thing and, and for him and for all of us as well. Yeah. So um, I remember the Shrewsbury game <laughs> um, for the uh, yeah for the cup as well, yeah. um, and that was massive for the academy. Even the the Aston Villa game away. Yeah. So all these moments, I think it was part of was opportunities that came from the circumstances or from the context, like I said. But in the end, it was part of okay, building something and trust in something that in the end we are getting now a lot of it. So we've seen, you know, quite a, a lot of players coming through to the team now and, and players I've named is there anyone who isn't in that crop right now that everyone should really be excited for I'm assuming you're going to probably say everyone um, to, yeah. to make sure you back yeah, them yeah, but... yeah. it's always unfair if I mention yes. someone uh, <laughs> but we because, should be because they are on a young age as well yeah. um, so a lot of things can happen and change and most of most than anything they need to find emotional stability for themselves um, but I think that, that, that there's always a lot of players. We are really excited. For example, how Trey stepped the, this season uh, and, and, and now he's now flourishing as well. So Dan's was this season as well from one moment on exploded as a, as a talent and, and made debut in the first team. So all of them are the new generation, I would say. And then there's a lot of them to come as well. Yeah, there is. And, um, you know, is it a little bit bittersweet that you won't get to, to carry on that journey with those players who uh, are there now? No, I'm I, because I will be on the outside for sure, um, supporting them. And, and I'm just happy that they will do the, they will have their debut. But um, no, no, completely not. I'm just um, happy that uh, we had this possibility so far and that I could help the club, the manager and these young players as well. That's 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 the most important thing. How excited are you to, to start your new journey? Obviously, with Pepper. Obviously. Yeah, very excited. Yeah, very excited. Yeah, um, because it's a, a nice project. We really fall in love straight on. Um, beautiful city. Um, and I have the possibility to stay with Pep, which is something that I'm really happy and I always look for it. So, yeah, I'm really excited. First, we still have the Sunday game uh, and a lot of emotion, emotional things to come. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Can I just get your favourite memory of the, you know, last five years? Oh, wow. It can be a game. It can be anything like that. Wow. Um, favourite memory. Memory. Put you on the spot, haven't I? Yeah, <laughs> uh, there's a lot. I will say personally, the the bo the born of my daughter at Liverpool. Gosh. I will go for that. In terms of the club, um, nah, I will say yeah. Uh, just because it was the last one, I would say the Carabao Cup. Yeah. Uh, yeah because it's it, it it it's a little bit more related with my role as well. Yeah in terms of the young players, but we had so many good moments. The the, the year we become champions on the Premier League was just insane. The, the games we had on that year was the, the quality. Winning the World Cup, uh, Club World Cup at, in Qatar and then coming and playing against Leicester on yeah. that day, uh, three days later or with a, I don't know, many hours flight and then playing with that quality. Um, the two finals against Chelsea at, at Wembley as well. That was massive, massive games. Both games are unbelievable. Um, so there's there's so many memories, so many memories that uh, will always stay, always stay with me. Um, and this season, the amount of goals we score in the end, <laughs> you cannot get out of that. So <laughs> it just just stays here a lot of time. So yeah, I would say that one. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the content today. If you want to get your name in and amongst these wonderful people, uh, then head to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. You're going to get free merchandise, merchandise codes. You're going to get in our Discord and you're going to get your name at the end of YouTube videos. Yes, redmenplus.com, legend tier status.